heavy weights to lift today, we're going to learn or review the present of the subjunctive. The tricky part of this lesson is that you guys hardly ever use the subjunctive in English, but in French we use it quite a lot and it's usually used inside a clause introduced by the relative que. But first, how do we conjugate a verb in the present of the subjunctive? You take the they form of the present of the indicative and you add the following endings. E, es, e, ions, ioz, ENT. If we take the verb chanter, for example, we'll have que je chante, que tu chantes, qu'il, elle, on chante, que nous chantions, que vous chantiez, qu'il, elle chante. Watch out though, because as usual, there are also a bunch of irregular verbs that you will just need to memorize as each one of them follows its own pattern, unfortunately. Now, when do we use the subjunctive in French? First, to express a feeling, as seen in yesterday's lesson with the sentence Je crains qu'il ne soit trop tard. I fear it might be too late. Soit is the subjunctive present of the verb être, to be. Another example. Je suis super contente qu'il vienne chez moi. I'm super happy he's coming to my place. Next, to express a doubt. Je ne suis pas sûr qu'il vienne chez moi. I'm not sure he's coming to my place. Then, to express a wish, a desire. Il veut que j'y aille. He wants me to go. Next, in an exclamation such as qu'il vienne, je l'attends. He can come. I'm waiting for him. Then, after a bunch of expressions, generally related to emotion, doubt, necessity, will, obligation, and others. I'll give you examples with some of the most common expressions. Il faut que... Oh, toi, il faut que tu te taises. Oh, you must stop talking. Il est naturel que... Il est naturel que vous fassiez des progrès en français. It's natural that you're making progress in French. Avant que... Appelle-moi avant que je me fâche. Call me before I get mad. Again, these are only a few examples. There are too many of those expressions for me to list here. I'll finish with one little point. Whenever you're using the verbs penser, croire, or trouver in the affirmative to express the thought or a belief, you will use the indicative present in a present context. In a way, you present your thoughts as being certain. Je crois qu'elle réfléchit trop. I think she thinks too much. But if the thought is expressed in the negative form or as a question, then the verbs penser, croire and trouver can be followed by a subjunctive and often will be to underline the uncertainty of the thought. You're following me? Je ne pense pas qu'elle réfléchisse trop. I don't think she thinks too much. Well, okay, that was an express lesson on the subjunctive present. Hope you will digest it easily. I'll see you guys tomorrow.